What one man's struggles can offer hope for others. Joining us now to talk about his book, Baby Steps, we have local author Steve. Welcome, Steve. So glad you're on the show with us. Oh, Jason. Yeah. I'm so happy you have me, and thanks for making me feel relaxed a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. Let's talk about this book. What, what can you tell us about it? What's it about, Baby Steps? Well, okay. Um, I've always wanted to write, and I thought about freelance uh, for a while, and I never really acted on it. But one day I found myself in a situation where I had a lot of time on my hands and not much to do. And I actually wrote it in the Benton County Jail. Uh, oh, really? Okay. With, with a golf pencil. And I wow. just, uh, you know, my favorite literature was always nonfiction, so autobiographies and uh, psychology and books like that. Yeah. And uh, so I, I just, in one draft, in three months, I wrote it with a golf pencil and I sat on it. Yeah. And uh, I would read through it and I would think to myself, well, you know, I'm a little. Uh, biased, uh, perhaps it's not <laughs> as good as I think, but eventually I had it typed by uh, some lady that needed some help, and uh, she had a computer. And uh, I started to give it to uh, people that I respected, uh, a judge, a couple of teachers, and so forth, and the feedback was unanimously positive. They said, you really should do something with this. When the COVID money started coming in, instead of buying a flat screen or a motorcycle, I invested in publishing. So that's that's the backstory. Yeah, certainly. And but what's happened in the meantime? You know, I've I've done pretty well locally. I've sold about 120 books, uh, and uh, but several, many people, two or three people came and bought second and third copies to gift to friends and relatives who were struggling with addiction and alcoholism. And I hadn't intended to write a self-help book, but they said that it, it reached them in a way that none of the rehabs ever had and so I started to reach out to Betty Ford Hazelton, the rehab centers that are scattered all across the country Sure. and got no response and I reached out to several of the local news stations and thank you very much for the only one that responded. <laughs> hey, we're happy to have you, love talking about books and you're doing a great job of talking about the content here and I will say you sent me an advanced copy, you mailed me a copy. Did it's, you get the read It's there? riveting, absolutely, I think it's really good, it's really raw and you tell your story in such an uh, engaging way and of Someone's course we appreciate that. like in that. my writing style to Hunter S. Thompson, I don't know <laughs> If that's correct, but it was just again one draft. Yeah, uh, and here I do it have is. One question: How long did it take you to complete it? Three months. All right. Three months. Wow, wow that's impressive. In three months. Yeah, I love it. That's awesome. Steve, how, how can people get a copy? I'm sure people want a copy of this after they seeing this interview right now. How can, how can well, they go about it? Well, it's available copy? on Amazon, Target, uh, ebook, uh, uh, Kindle, uh, the Walmart warehouse. Uh, and of course, uh, if you're local, you can get it at the Fayetteville uh, Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Um, and you can always come see me, and I'll sign a copy. That's at, right. That's right. Awesome. Yeah, and I've often got copies with me that are very reasonable, fifteen dollars. So. Awesome, <laughs> Steve. Thank you. You got to check it out. Baby Steps. It's a great book. It's a great read, and it will lift your spirits up. Stay